Have you called Fafa Fui since he had the baby? Have you no. called him on the phone? No, I haven't. Here, listen to this. Hi, uh, Gary and Mary and Jackson are not available oh, right boy. now. But if you leave your name and a message, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back as soon as we can. <laughs> Jack is. Uh, you know how he came in the other day and he said, you know, both you guys have taught me something. And one thing I will never do is I will never put my child on my answering machine. Yeah, he's already, me, Mary, and Jackson. <laughs> oh, Jackson. I mean, it's like, oh, man, do you have to act like a jerk when you have a baby? I got to let everybody know. It's and the guy, greatest accomplishment. And guys have babies and they start sounding like girls. Did you, did you hear, like, me, Jackson, and Mary are having fun. It's like, Gary, mellow out. You're, You're probably not... playing with the baby right now. Why don't they have the kid poop into the answering machine so we can hear that? Dude. John's such a douche. Why is he a douche? Ah. Because, because Stutter John goes, uh, you better get in there. They're talking about your answering machine. I go, well, how did he know about it? He goes, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, he's the only one in the show that's ever called me. Yeah, of course I've called knows. you. <laughs> Idiot. I've heard it. I've hung up. You, you've got a few hang-ups last week. That was me getting you disgusted. You hung up as soon as you heard I it. Did. You did. I can't, I mean, oh, yes, I did. Oh, yeah, that'll make you hang up. Hi, uh, Gary and Mary. Hi. Jackson are not available right now. Jackson's not, a, Jackson's not available right Mayor, now. Uh, uh, Robin. Don't even talk about answering machines. They're the queen of wacky answering machine messages. Oh, but they're not like this. Nobody is home, no. Very breathy, too. I was trying to be quiet, actually. Why, Jackson was sleeping? That's true, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have to keep changing your message? I don't, I, don't I have the boring. same message. for. But what do you care? You don't have you to don't call it. You don't listen to it. No, but people, people say, ah, change the message. But, but why? What do you care? I feel like it. What do you want? And, uh, it's, uh, me, it's, Jackson, it's not the law. and Mary... But why do you have so much free time to do stuff like change your answer? Like that require that's got to be low on the priority list. Howard, it requires about thirty seconds. Yeah, you do it like right, but it's just I like it sort like of right. like if you're a really busy person, you don't have time for that kind of stuff. Well, I know it makes me a bad employee because I have time to change my answering machine message. I God, think the whole, I just can't even relate whole, to that. I think the whole audience recognizes There's that. There's so many things you could be doing. I, I mean, learning computers or or, or or practicing a sport or doing something that. Practicing a sport, what'd you have in mind? I don't know anything. You know, go out and play football with you. Don't be friends. Do something. Oh, here, oh, here's Gary's new message. This, that's. Oh, no, wait a minute. Come on. When was? So I have two lines. Oh, you have two lines. Oh, two, so he's got another one. Two, two, I haven't heard this one. Two, two simil- Jackson messages. Two similar but separate Jackson messages. <laughs> Hi, nobody's on to take your call right now. Neither Mary nor Gary nor Jackson is ready to come to the phone. He'll be ready in about three or four years. Uh, just leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. <laughs> He's so witty. How dare you laugh? <laughs> How witty. Uh, Jackson will be ready in three or four. So we'll be, after, when we call now, we'll have to hear Jackson on the phone. <laughs> Two things I've learned about raising kids from you is ne- I'm never going to let my kid leave a message on the answering machine or answer the phone. You know, Emily's 11 years old. She has yet to answer the phone. Well, she, I, I don't have her answer second. the phone. She doesn't, she doesn't have her own phone? No, she does not. Really? Oh, I thought she did for some reason. No. And, she, and Emily never... Well, no one answers the phone in your house. Right. They don't answer the phone. No, but even, even no there are times we pick up. It's rare. I don't allow them to pick up the phone. If there's any, We have an answering machine. Right. And the answering machine goes into the house. Now, if it's one of Emily's friends, I pick up the phone. I, don't, I tell the kids, you don't have to worry about picking up the phone. I'll answer it. The worst thing in the world are these people with their kids. Because, you know, my daughter now has friends. You know, both my daughters, the 8-year-old and the 11-year-old, have friends who... You call up, and since they're four, the parents allow them to answer the phone. Now, the parents know what's going on. Yeah, they encourage it. And you call, hi, is your mommy home? Yeah, you're talking to a, a, a little retard. Yeah, and you get hung up on. Lots yeah. of different things happen when these kids pick up the these phone. These parents I think it's so cute. Oh, look how cute she's talking Aww. on the phone. She's, we have our own little answering service. Oh, have you ever dealt with the people who have to put the baby on the phone? Yeah, well, They're I, trying I, to get business done. I'm talking about people letting their kid pick up the phone. How about Bowie? <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievably obnoxious and boring and dull and uh, 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 invasive into my life. If I have to call you over something, don't put that little monster on the phone. (laughs) Nobody else finds it cute but you. Your glob of semen makes a baby, and you think that you're the only one who's ever done it. 
He's so proud. Oh, so proud. Oh, look what I made. Most of the time you threw that away, but now you're proud. <laughs> Meanwhile, you made nothing. You have no idea how that baby got made. All you did was... was, was um, you did what you well, do. You know, Shoot off. You are right. You are right. Albert Einstein can make the same baby that a murderer can Right. Make. It's not a difficult thing to do. I mean, if somebody shows me a, 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 a thing they drew, a piece of art... Uh, some work they've done, I can appreciate it. The retarded can make a baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> my rule is when the kid's old enough to pay the phone bill, they can answer the phone. <laughs> I, my kids have yet to answer the phone. I'm talking about picking up the answering machine. In other words... But if Emily hears grandma on the phone, she won't pick it up? Like if she no. Can... Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm telling you. No, that's the God's honest truth. It's a good thing. You're damn right it's good because people are obnoxious. I know how obnoxious But the reason the kids get so into it is because even as they're very, very young and just gurgling baby talk, when they're holding the baby, they will say, oh, let, wait a minute, let me put, say hello to the baby. Yeah. So all of a sudden now you've tried to talk to them and you're like yelling at the right, baby. Right, at a baby. The baby who has no, who's eating the phone. <laughs> Can I just chime in? When you really feel like the biggest idiot is when you start trying to talk to them. And then the kid gets bored with you, so the parent gets back on, and you're like, you're like cooing and acting like an idiot. And what's with you with your answering message, though? You seem to be intelligent. I don't I understand why you do that. Hi, Hi uh, this is Gary. Oh, we would you're like, oh, Gary's involved with the baby. Parenthood like is bragging. Exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> I I'm want to see baby. in six months if he's still so involved. Well, oh, he, yeah. will, he has tons of free time. Uh, you know, I'm going to get bored with the kid. I'm already bored with him now. <laughs> I'm so he's involved. not inventive. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are vermin. <laughs> he sounds like <laughs> Allison Steele on this answering message. Hi, Hello. the night bird. <laughs> hey, maybe I get some. Did Allison Steele coach you for this? I get some of that music and run it behind. Yeah, right. <laughs> Zamfir. Your name and a message. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back as soon as we can. <laughs> were you playing with Jackson right now? Actually, the message I wanted to leave was: if we don't pick up the phone right now, we're probably sort of busy. But hey, you well, know. if you can't pick up the phone, why do I have to know why you can't pick up the phone? Well, you don't have to know anything. You don't even have so to. Why do you, why do why I? Have, have, why do why if I'm a caller to your home, do I have to know? We're probably playing with Jackson. Like maybe. What if you're watching TV? That's false information. Oh, <laughs> he's billboarding. It. Yeah, he's like billboarding what he's doing. Yeah. Why don't you change your message every hour? You're coming up right, right now. I'm watching the football game. So. Right? Hi, this, I'm about to go. Do you think you're shower? that important that people really want to know what you're doing? Hi, this is Gary and Marion Jackson. Coming up at eight, we'll be bathing. Jackson, like Jackson. Jackson's the only baby on the planet. We're probably with Jackson playing. What, 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 are you, what are you afraid? The adoption service is going to call and take the baby away? <laughs> See, We're really good parents. See, starting him out to be an obnoxious kid yeah. by paying so much attention. We're really good oh, parents. Yeah, everybody, paying attention to everybody has to pay attention to Jackson. Gary, you know what your assignment is? Go buy a bra and wear it in here tomorrow, <laughs> right? Because you're like a girl. Robin's got portraits of Tut, but I have to be worried about it. I don't care as long as I don't have to <laughs> hear it on the on phone. The phone. No, they're on your wall. I don't get an update of what she's doing with her cat. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. You get it every day. She comes On the here. answering machine? I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Not on the answering machine. <laughs> Hi, nobody's on to take your call right now. Neither Mary, nor Gary, nor Jackson. Nor is Jackson. To come to the phone. He'll be ready in about three or four years. Uh, just leave a message and we'll get back to you. <laughs> did you, did you write that out? No. no. Where did nor come from? I, I mean, was it nor, nor Gary, nor Mary? Since he moved to Connecticut. Oh, nor, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shakespeare. I'm very full of myself now. Nor Jackson. Nor, <laughs> nor. Thou must call back. <laughs> Neither rain nor oh, snow nor guy sleet. With, here's another guy with answering machines. Nor, <laughs> nor. Use your finger. All right. <laughs> yeah, but that's like a goofy joke line. What, he doesn't have that on his home answering machine, use your finger. <laughs> that's true. Uh, nor Jackson, nor Mary, nor I. <laughs> nor, nor snow. How nor many times did you, nor tell, I want you to be honest. You didn't nail that on the first take. I no, I you, did. I did both of them, I swear. Did you? Yeah. I bet you he, did, yeah, I bet you he like, you know, redoes no, them. No, no, it takes two seconds. You stand in front of the phone. Well, he's probably not happy with him if he did them in one take, and right. he'll be changing it soon. Not breathy enough. Hi, nobody's on to take your call right now. Neither Mary, nor Gary, nor Jackson is ready to come to the phone. He'll nor. be ready in about three or four years. Uh, just really? Just a message and we'll get How back to How long for Gary to get ready? Back. So in three or four years, <laughs> I, have a, I have a better. Uh, I so have in three or four years, Jackson's going to be answering the phone. You think? No. You're going to allow that, Howard? It's called. Uh, so when I call you, poetic life. Uh, I get some little kid mumbling into the phone. Hello, Hopefully, Louis. yeah. But what he says is neither Gary nor Mary nor Jackson is ready to come to the phone right now. He'll be ready in about three or four years. Right. So when will Gary and Mary be ready? All I know is it's like you're calling this guy's house and. 
they're painting this picture <laughs> you guys connect- on the phone answering message like yeah. Wow, yeah. we are really busy. Yeah. We uh, even Jackson is busy. There is so much importance going on here that we can't know. possibly answer the phone. Right now. In fact, like we're give... here, we're home, but, but we're, we're too busy. To we're answer. too busy to answer. I would like to give you and Robin an award right now. Yeah. I'd like to give you an award. I've never for heard being a message able to, like that. For to take nothing and dissect it for so long. You think that this is nothing? Yes. Okay. In the scheme of life, keep dreaming. This is like the end of a fingernail. It's it nothing. is such an obnoxious it's dirt. Thing. Yeah. It's a piece of dust. Yeah. Good. What do you call this that message again? would make Norman Rockwell Minutia. puke. You call it minutia. <laughs> this is fascinating to me. Hi, uh, Gary and Mary and Jackson are not available right now. Yeah, we knew. We kind of knew Jackson wasn't available. We know you're all not available. The answering machine is picking up. Yeah, I'm not calling for Jackson, but Gary has to tell you what can he's we, doing in the house. Call, I love this. Can we just call Robert's answering machine now? Sure. <laughs> I'm dying to know. I what bet the, you it's not as stupid as this. It might be. It depends on what week it is. <laughs> I don't Worth change mine every week. Changes his every day. <laughs> Sometimes twice a day. I know. Howard, I haven't changed my answering machine. Name and a message. Months. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back. We're probably we playing with Jackson right now. If not, we're probably, you know, he might be sleeping. And uh, why don't I leave a more extensive You're message? You're way insignificant compared to playing with Jackson, right. <laughs> whoever you are. Yeah, on that's the phone. what it sounds to me. <laughs> Let me see if I know Robin's number. Do I? Uh, my phone line isn't working. My oh. phone line is down. Oh, is it? Yeah. How did that happen? The I communication don't know. center is off. It's all off, yeah. Wow. So nobody could hear my annoying message. Leave a message, please. <laughs> it's my favorite one. I have that one on tape, and I'm going to get it. I don't care. all of five I'm seconds I'm for that wrong. message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has had some classics. <laughs> I just don't want updates on Gary and his kid on the phone. Who cares? I mean, Mine it's just so updates. stupid. Hello. Leave a message, please. <laughs> <laughs> That should have had, like, rule Britannia under it. I'll tell you one thing. It does, that doesn't annoy me half as much as yours does. There's nothing there right but the facts. Please. 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 Just give me the facts. Tell me what I got to do, and I'll do it. I don't want to hear about Jackson. <laughs> Baby Jackson. Hi, Gary. It's Robin checking in. Of course I'm going. If I say I'm going, I'm going. You shouldn't worry. I just don't sit around the house waiting for people to call me. I have things to do. So anyway, um... I guess everybody's meeting at Howard's house from what I understand. That's not a message. So, uh, no, this is a message I left on his machine. Yeah, I didn't see the tape. <laughs> I have things to do. <laughs> it's not a message, though. No, it's not, but it could have been. All right. Just to change it, will you, man? Get with it. No, I just have a new Nobody phone. wants to hear. Yeah, you don't know. Let me ask you something. If you called someone's house, right? Mm-hmm. And on my and I'm like, and you're usually Hi. thinking of what you need to do really quickly. Yeah, you know, people are calling because they have something to get to, to some but, wisdom for, to give for to starters, you. Starters, you never hear my answering machine message. Just shows, shows I'm how sure little, I do. Shows you what a liar you are. If, La- if Laura doesn't I call, for, do. if Laura doesn't call for you, you hit the star how button. And it's, Howard, let me finish. Wrong. If Laura doesn't call for you, you hit the star button and you skip the message. No, I don't. You never skip because the a lot of times, if you call your machine right now, you hit the star button, it doesn't skip. Absolutely, not it does, absolutely. So you're going to tell me it does always skip? Always. But nope. why would it, it do it sometimes? Or no- it doesn't always do it. It's You're technology. The, you are such a liar. I'm not lying. Of course it always why does. Why are you arguing with me? I'm telling you what I is- sit and listen to your message. Well, then that's your headache. You know and that. Why would you give it? And let me say something. Whether I listen to your message or not, why would you treat people to a message like that? None of your like business, that? what I do. What do you mean it's none of your business? None of your business, what I do at my house. I'm telling you, you sound stupid. Fine, so I'd like to sound stupid. I sound stupid for 10 years on this show. I don't care what, what you, you do. I, what should I, make I don't care what you do at your house. I am telling you, you sound like an idiot. Okay. That's well, all, because you obviously don't know. And you know everything. That's why I have you. Right. You're God. <laughs> that's right. No, you know what, Gary? Yeah. You know, I was complaining you know, about Gary. I was complaining about it? Gary on Friday. Were you? To somebody. Well, that narrows it down to every day of the week. Yeah. So I said, you know, it's really funny. I said uh, to this person, you know, Gary didn't do this. He doesn't do that. You know, he does some things right, but man, the guy can't get organized. He doesn't. He just isn't together. And this person said to me, Gary's never had a real job. I said, what do you mean he hasn't? He's worked. No, no, no. He's never worked anywhere but for you. And it's like, it's a big clowning around thing. And he also thinks he's a radio personality because, you know, he's known. So he has a fame thing going. I know who he's talking about. And you can't tell him anything. Just not true. So I said, I know what you mean. Because he doesn't ever think he could get fired. And he's probably right. So far he's been. 
so far he's been right. <laughs> I mean, he's pulled some pretty big boo-boos. I know. But, but the point is that at some point you would have let, once the organization got bigger and more elaborate, you would have brought in a highly organized person who has skills mm -hmm. to take over Gary's job, and you would have phased him out. How did my answering machine turn into uh, that I can't work Because you don't, life. listen to me, even about the answering machine, you don't take advice. You sit and you fight and you should struggle. I, should I call you about every single thing? No. I am just telling you this is one I want to know how to wipe my child's butt. That is butt. really Can dumb. Can I call you no, about no, it? No, you don't have to call me. You don't you have to sure? call me about it. Gary, you, you sure? never call me for advice on anything. You, That's you, the unfortunate thing. Are you sure? Because I should. Thursday, I you, you, set up, Thursday you set up an appointment for me. Did you call my uh, assistant and tell her that I'm going to be doing something it's, Thursday? It's for Tuesday. Oh, and I did call you. It's for Tuesday? Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because it's not listed in my book, and she says you don't know anything about it. She got a memo on it. She knows all about it. I asked you first. And then we sent her a memo. Oh, she that is that's a memo about that. I don't know what you're talking about. You no, about no, you know screening? what? It, yeah. The, yeah, the private screening that was set up for me. Right. That doesn't look like a private screening about me. It looks like a general information thing. Howard, it's it's too. Do long me a favor. Everybody don't me. write anything. Wait a second. Call my assistant and tell her you when can, I have an appointment. Just right. call her up and tell her. No one knows. No one can even make out what this. She handed it to me. I said, let me read this. I go, no, no, no. This must be a function for K-Rock for yes, anybody. Right. I said, Gary told me on Laura. Thursday. How could, how could it be anything different? Because we think it's a general release it for everyone. It says to Laura. Like, Why would it say a general release? It it's says to, would you listen to me? It <laughs> says to Laura because we get lists from everyone on every, Kathy sends tons of memos to Laura. You know but that, that. But the, I know what you're talking about. The memos that come out about station. Just Howard. call my, I'm telling you what I want done. Pick up the phone and call my assistant. You don't have to sit and waste time typing. Pick up the phone and tell I her I have an appointment. I was told to send it in writing. Oh, my God. But I was just doing what I was He told. sent something in writing, and it's a disaster. <laughs> so what? anyway, anyone else would have already gotten rid of him because he's never had a real job. If he worked in a real office, which is what his career is, being an office temp. You are a jerk. I'm not a jerk. You're a jerk. Oh. I had to get in this somehow, I'm a man. jerk. I I'm a jerk. Why don't you go work for it someone else if I'm such a jerk? Who the calls jerk? their boss a jerk? That's on what a real I'm saying. Job. You guys will never have a second, real job. Robin, what boss humiliates him daily in front of because a Because I'm bosses, lots of no, bosses. No, no, no. On Maybe a regular in front of basis. A few people, but not in front of everybody. Not it's all relative, world. my friend. The best part of your job is me humiliating you because you might learn something. <laughs> it's what made you a star. He drives me nuts. He drives me crazy. <laughs> he called me a jerk with a megaphone. Yeah. He, I, I would just love to see that on a regular job. I would just. Well, this is it. not a regular job. I would love to have you get a Howard, job. Howard, you have the Please, world's... somebody hire Bob. Howard, sir, you have the world's <laughs> biggest megaphone, that microphone, and you're telling the whole world what a moron Please I am. Please go to another place and work. Please. <laughs> I'm. I only have a year here left, and you're out of here. You're sure. gone for my life. Good. It's the end of it. Even if I take another radio job, I'm going to say, oh, Gary, they won't hire you. I talk to You're them. You're going to pretend that there's no budget yeah, for him. Yeah, right. I'm gonna, uh, it's going to be the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> it's going to be my liberation. It's going to be a whole new show. And then you're going to go, and you're going to be, uh, I guess you'll work on other programs, or you'll, you'll become a producer of MTV or something, and then you'll have a real job, and then you'll see what life is really all Such about. Such an angry man. Oh, I can't you wait for you so to find angry. out what a real job is. I can't believe you could take an answering machine message. You know what he needs, Fred? Anger. Fred, like you, he needs to work in Springfield for a few uh, years. It's a humbling experience. Yes. <laughs> You take are a, such a donkey. Take a loyal I can't believe like you don't go hee haw. Take the loyalest guy in the world and <laughs> degrade him. <laughs> hee haw. <laughs> this is very proud of you. Because you don't take listen. Take a loyal guy who loves you. Would do love has you, nothing to do with I have loyalty all over the place. Him on a certain, I don't him want on a you in my life level. anymore. Mm. Just degrade I him. I want you to get a real job just so you can call me up and go, Howard. I have no self esteem. I had no idea what it's like to work. You've stripped me of any self esteem I've ever had. I can't wait till he calls me and goes, Oh my God, they expect so much. I had to stay at the office till 9 o'clock last night. Howard, I want to Back. Yeah, I've never stayed yeah. late here. Oh, yeah. He's real loyal, real dedicated to your work. Uh, here's the Gary puppet. Excuse me, Wolf. Yeah. After this fine performance this morning, can I have plastic surgery to look like anybody else on this show? <laughs> anybody, please. You bring uh, him up. Come over here. I got a chisel. I'll give you plastic surgery. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, woodhead. <laughs> please don't leave. Pussy yeah, you have to I'm get a real machine. job. I'm mad at the puppet. I, I can't wait for the day. 12 months from now, when you will have your resumes and you are out looking for a real job, Puppet and people expect future. something from you. And you know what? You know what my prediction is for you? No, tell you're going to end up as Please. a car salesman. A car salesman. And you're going to, you know what it's going to be like? No one will hire Gary. It'll be bad yeah. for like four or five months, and he'll be like, "Oh my God, I can't get a job producing. I can't get a job producing." And then it'll go on six months, and finally Mary's going to say, "You've got to get work." We've got a Jackson to. Yeah, we got we got a house. We got things to do, <laughs> and he'll say, "You know, I am. I do have fame from the show. A guy at a car dealership said he would hire me." 
because of who I am. Are and you then he's going to get there. Then he's going to get there. Listen to this is my and see see if it doesn't come true. He's going to get there, and now he's going to hate selling cars, and he's going to dream of the days when he was on the radio with me. And he, oh man, I could have busted my balls and more. And we realize what a cushy deal yeah. this well, was. That'll set in first. Yeah. That, and also what all the perks he had no idea. You don't. Oh, you mean you mean I don't get invited to movie screenings anymore? You know, no it's going to be very, very exciting. PR parties. You mean, you mean, where's my friend Ross, the record company guy? Why isn't he want to see me? Oh, anymore? see, I thought when you worked at a so car then, dealership, you got invited to screenings. So no, how stupid am no, I? Now wait, you, you wait and see. You haven't, you haven't been on a non-glamour job, but they call it a non-glamour job. Wolf, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead, Gary Puppet. My future as a puppet is brighter than Gary's. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't have to eat, and you're not saddled with Baby Jackson. So, so listen to this. So then he gets a job at the car dealership, yeah. and it's like, you know, hey, the car dealer's all excited. He even puts out flyers. Hey, Baba Booey of the Howard Stern Show is now see Baba Booey. Now appearing. Now appearing, <laughs> Baba Booey. And it's going to be exciting. The guy's first thing. And, like, it's going to be a little embarrassing because all the other car, you know, salesmen are going to go, wow, what is, like, Gary? I can't believe Gary Delavate's yeah. working here and ba -ba stuff. Baba car. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to Toyota of Lachmont. Right. <laughs> so anyway, and then he's going to be there, and now all of a sudden, He's got to sell cars. The reality of the job hits. And the yeah. guy's like, hey, Gary, it's great you're here, but you're not you bringing in. Produce. You haven't brought in any additional business. And then Gary's going to go, well, how can I bring in additional business? People don't know I'm here. It'll be, and the guy will be like, hey, shut up. Just sell some cars, man, because you're working on commission. And all of a sudden, it's going to be like, oh, my God, I don't believe a nightmare. I had a great life. I mean, when I was under Howard's wing, Howard took care of everything. He babied me and pampered me. He always kept the show going. He got the ratings, whether I performed or not, whether I, whatever I finished my computer work or whatever, it didn't matter because Howard would come in with his briefcase, open it up, and he'd have material. I thought this was a team. No, there's no, there's no team. When it, when it's all said and done, the team, the team started when I was born. That's the team. I'll tell you something, Robin. Howard never calls me at home to see how I am, and we never have lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't given you a ride. <laughs> But uh, I'll have the last laugh. And then I'll call, I'm going to call Gary in about two years from now. And I'll go, hey, how's it going? Oh, not so good. What's wrong? Oh, I was working at a car dealer for about six weeks. Oh, yeah, it was bad? Yeah, well, I was working for the guy. And, like, he was all excited. And he, he wanted me to Stern. sell stuff. He had Howard Stern, you know, from the Howard Stern show. And he expected me to sell all these cars. Yeah. Oh, man, I haven't sold one this month. I really need a sale. And you know what I'll be like? I'll be like. Oh, Gary, that's terrible. Oh, this guy sounds like a real jerk. Hey, oh, I feel so bad for hey, you. Hey, boss, would you So buy then from a, the car you, sales, then he's going to, then what's going to happen is, because of his radio background, he's going to say, I got to get back into radio, and he's going to become a radio sales guy. Oh, goodness. And he's going to fail miserably at that. And he's going to hate <laughs> the rest of his life. Well, you left out the part where for the car dealership, I record the, uh, the messages when you get left on hold, because I do have radio experience. Very good. And in two years, his answering machine message won't be anything about Baby Jackson because Mary and Jackson already left. It'll be like, ha, talk fast. They're shutting off my electricity any second. <laughs> in three years, it'll be a wife beater. Hi, this is Gary. I could, I could have a noose around my neck or I could have a blade to my wrist. Right. That's you'll be hearing all about it. Bubba burned out. <laughs> Turn off that radio. Even Jackson ain't returning my calls. <laughs> I really thought that, like, you know, because I was from the Howard Stern Show, I would get other jobs. I don't understand. Why won't, I was set for life. Why won't people just pay me to do nothing like they did on my other job? <gasps> just doesn't work that way. My, how my life have changed. Anyway, go ahead. Go make more answering messages. Get used to the word formally, too. Formally of the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> He, well, he has time for this stuff. <laughs> Hi, uh, Gary and Mary and Jackson are not available right Jackson. now. But if you leave your name and a message, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, we're probably playing with Jackson right now, but we'll call you back as soon as what we can. What do you can. do with Jackson? What kind of play do you do? He's like a loaf of bread. He lays there. Yeah, he sleeps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you do? I mean, at this stage of life. <laughs> he can't even turn himself. What kind of play? A loaf what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? You wave a... You're a being kind. Yeah, what do you do? You have a, you wave a thing in front of his you face? You turn on his mobile. We don't do anything. What do you do? What do you mean play with Jackson? You know, I was, it's, it's oh. poetic. We don't do anything. I know with my kids. The kid was like a loaf of bread. Laid you know there. what? Basically, what they can do, you can see if you can get your little finger in their hand and they can squeeze it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's doing that great. And they have no idea. <laughs> Want a reality check? The baby's not doing anything. The baby's a bunch of reflexes at this point. Yeah. I mean, you're having fun. At least you have something up to your nipple and, and it's it, you're supplying food, which yeah. is a miracle of life. I'm standing here. Yeah. 
Look at the baby root. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rooting. You know what I did yesterday? The I baby held... eats so well. <laughs> I, I held him for two hours while he screamed and cried while my wife took a nap. That was what we did yesterday. Oh, you did that? I never did that. Oh, I... you never did that with the first one no. for that first six months? Nope. I could not handle it. <laughs> I can't handle the crying. But you, have, you know what? If you don't do that, your wife's going to be put in a mental institution. You want to know something? They don't get any sleep. It gets worse. Of course it does. You, don't, you didn't use a baby nurse, huh? No. Man. We had one. Well, we had her, her mom's a nurse. Yeah. Her mom's, oh. and she stayed with us for a week. Oh, the week's up? Oh, yeah. boy.